really keen on talking about. I was on the way home from here actually, and um, I can't think of what it was. It saluted me. Um, where was it? East? No, that's Scotland. I was trying to think of where I was from. See, I've got these things. I've, I've started to think to myself, um, if I'm going to a party where no one knows me, I'm going to use accents. It's a lot of fun, like people think, thinking like, what are you doing? Oh, where are you from? Oh, from from Ireland. Um, now, when it comes to Scotland, I've got, um, I've looked at it, I've looked into it and the thing that, um, I find me thing that I want to live at, it's called, um, East, East something, East, East Field. East Field, I think it is. Say East, yeah. Something like that. Anyway, I'll look it up in a minute. But um, basically, it's um, it's exactly halfway between Embra and um, and um, Glasgow. So it's um, so I've got that, and I was lots. Of, I had a look at the rain and Google Maps and that to look like. Oh yeah, it's got um, lots of green roofs and that. Um, like why is that? Like why is that? Like all the hazes there are um, they got green roofs, green like they painted green like. But it's like a nice little thing that if someone did go through Eastland, uh, Eastburn, I think it's Eastburn. Um, you know, sorry. Like, oh yeah, I remember the green roofs. You must have been there. Huh? Such a strange thing to fucking think about. Like to remember. Like obviously you're from there. Um, and so like I need to, I'm gonna start looking into um, Ireland and maybe some some sort of English. I've got to find out exactly what my English accent is, like where it's from or that sort of thing. Like, like if I get, I say I'm from England. But where from England are you from, sir? From the most English part of it, you know. England, the, like the real England part, so, yes, um, i trying to think of other words that, I, I know, I know so many words, but it's just like, you've got to add, uh, oh, I can't think of any context to use them in, like this, pa, pa, have you got the pa, we need to make a cake, go get some flour, flour. And also, what else? And there's um, oh, I always get trouble with this one. Um, the other English bits, like Cockney. No, I'm not that great at Cockney, eh? Um, we've got to do a bit more work with that. But anyway, it's, it's something. It's maybe not Cockney, mate, but it's something. It's something English related. And um, oh no, I'll just have to be give it a bit of a bash and see how it goes, eh? Um, also, there was a oh, you just going out in the fields and. There's a lot of sheep about. No, we drink a lot of cider. 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 Um, but I don't quite know exactly what way it goes to be. The, like, where's that? Where's this accent from? It's another one. Like, if you know where these accents, like, what, what, what you would consider these accents from, do make a comment so he knows what's, what's about. Because right now, I do these accents and I don't quite know where they're from and if I want to make something convincing obviously I need to know that um, that I need to know a bit about the area so I can sort of you know like bullshit my way into the thinking that that's where I'm from like if I do that for quite some time or something and you know eventually it's but like this one's meant to be my English former accent but I find myself hard to stay there um, I drift around a lot towards um, maybe Irish or, or occasionally Scottish but um, it's, that's a tricky one for me it takes, it's going to take a lot more practice to um, say already I'm going over to Irish it's, it's a real hard one to kind of cement myself in um, and a few other ones I want to do, like, um, I'd love to do Indian, 
I'd like to do an Indian accent, but I think it just sounds kind of forced. It doesn't quite sound, it sounds like maybe an Indian who has lived in Australia for many, many years, you know, and they're basically not like they've lost all Indian accent and they're back to Australian. But they've got that little hint of Indian to their voice. Yeah, that's that's another one that's going to need some um, some work. But then I, um, I can also sometimes do a um, my my uh, African accent, not South African, but um, but I just um, I try and think of that guy from um, Monty Python. Here he goes. Hello, and welcome to the middle of the field. Hello and welcome to the middle of the film, where this is where you, the audience, uh, participate in our little game, Find the Fish. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But I need a safe African. The only, the only way I can do a safe African, I still like, what is that? That's not even safe African, that's from those. I, uh, how's it? Dr. Rudy here. I'm here to tell you all about... No, it just can't be done. Can't be done, mate. It's fucked. It's fucking fucked. Throw it out. Get started on something new, mate. Fucking fuck. Oh, mate. It's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. Okay, it's fucked. It's done. You need more accents, mate. Oh, you're a funny cunt, but fucking fuck. For fuck's sake, fuck. Fucking fuck. Fucking fuck. fuck. Oh, shit, seven minutes. I'm gonna stop. Bye. Enjoy your day, guys. I can get on it. Have a beer for me, mate. Or two. Ha <laughs> ha!